What do we do with doubt? In John chapter 20, verses 24 to 29, Thomas has this interaction with Jesus. Who's Thomas? We don't know. Uh, what we do know is that he's a follower of Jesus. He is a disciple. Uh, he appears eight times in scripture and four of those times are in a list. So we don't know much about this guy. We don't even know his name. Thomas is a translation of twin. Uh, but what we do know is that in John chapter 20, he has this encounter with Jesus. Uh, Jesus appears in a locked room to his disciples. And he's done that a week before, but Thomas wasn't there. This time Thomas is there. And in the conversation, with his friends he's saying i'm just not having it until i can see it and so jesus turns up and and thomas sees it and thomas has a moment of revelation where he says my lord and my god and and we build layers of confidence from that interaction and from those statements again conversation for another day but in this moment what do we do with doubt i think if you've been around our tribe uh, or our preferences or our ways for a while you're likely to have uh, at best an indifferent experience with doubt I think we are the people that struggle to engage with doubt where does that fit into our model of faith and so I want to give us some things that help us with that doubt is real doubt is uh, is okay and I think Jesus teaches and tells us in this exchange with Thomas and his dance with doubt some things that are helpful for us, I think we can use doubt to fuel our exploration of Jesus. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by that, but I, I wanna be clear that don't let doubt be the fuel for shame. Uh, don't be afraid of doubt. Don't be disqualified by doubt. Don't be pushed off of the things of Jesus by doubt. Don't uh, inherit somebody else's opinion about your doubt. Don't let somebody else shape uh, your encounter with Jesus because you have doubt. Thomas had doubt and Jesus welcomes him. In fact, Jesus presents himself to Thomas. Thomas doesn't um, do much of the heavy lifting in this space. He just says, hey, until I see it, I'm, I'm not sure. And so that teaches and tells me that doubt can be fuel for an exploration of Jesus. Jesus is not any less Jesus because you doubt. I hope that makes sense to you but there are three things really quickly to help us engage with that you need to be around people telling their stories you need to hear resurrection stories you need to hear where people have encountered Jesus and so if you are somebody uh, who follows Jesus who knows Jesus who loves Jesus who's apprenticed to Jesus please tell your story people need to hear of your encounters with Jesus because in their dance with doubt you are showing them the hands and the side of Jesus they need to hear those stories so if you are struggling if you are engaged with if you are confused by if you are having your own dance with doubt ask somebody who is apprenticed to Jesus for them to tell you their story second thing community they were together they were together they were together talking about Jesus and he showed up and we can't be physically in the same uh, space uh, at the same time but the technology that we have removes any excuse for us not to be connected uh, we have to be connected with community why because you need to hear those stories and if you don't hear those stories the fuel for adventure becomes misused by shame and shame will isolate and will disconnect and so every time you choose not to connect with community that is using the fuel that could be used in the exploration, the adventure of Jesus and giving it away to the potential of shame. And shame will tell you it's just you. They don't want you. You're not involved. You're not included. You're not asked. And that's not true. We have the ability to engage via the technology that we have available to us until we gather again on various days, ways, shapes and forms and we continue that adventure together. We are not the limits of half past ten on a Sunday morning. God is bigger than that and so as we do our own dance with doubt in method, we've got to be connected as community. They were together, they were telling Jesus stories and then Jesus turned up. Third thing before I leave you for this devotional, uh, walk with Jesus a bit this week. And how do you do that? Get into a gospel, read what he said, read what he did, and then bring that into your following of him this week. 
explore the way. Use that doubt as a fuel for the exploration of who Jesus is and let him teach you about himself. Read a gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke or John. Pick one, pick two, pick three, read, read all four if you, if you have the capacity to do that. And let Jesus um, teach you and tell you about himself. So get around the stories of faith, tell them, hear them, connect to community, together got to invest in that fuel for adventure together not letting shame have any space or room to maneuver in that and then explore the way walk with jesus in your life this week make time and make space engage with a gospel the words and the ways of jesus and let them teach and tell you things about him let your doubt be fuel for exploration there's no shame in doubt jesus will present himself to you in it be brilliant if you want to have a longer form conversation about this, get in touch. Uh, I have some thoughts that I think uh, would be good for us to chew on together. Uh, this video is already too long, so uh, we need to get on with it. Be brilliant. Uh, read John chapter 20. If all else fails, read John chapter 20 uh, today. Uh, be blessed, be brilliant, be bold for Jesus. We'll see you soon.